All right, guys, how you doing? It's Rabia, I hope you're all good. So, got another pedal demo for you guys today. This time in association with the guys at Keeley Electronics. They've been throwing these pedals out recently. They've been bringing out all sorts of stuff. As you may have seen, I did the synth one a couple of weeks ago. And this is another brand new pedal. This is the Keeley Fuzz Bender. Fuzz, fuzz pedals. We all like a good fuzz pedal. I love fuzz pedals. Some people don't get fuzz, I really do. I think it's a great, great tool to have on your pedal board. I think it works really well in lots of styles of music. Anyway, Keeley uh, Fuzz Bender is a modern fuzz comprising of three transistors and you can move between that kind of high gain silicon to a smooth germanium type tone. Uh, the, the biggest selling point of this pedal is that it has uh, 20 dB of bass and treble boot. It's got an active EQ, so it gives you tons of headroom You've got 20 dB of bass, 20 dB of treble, which means you can really, really shape the tone of this fuzz to find exactly what it is you want. And it's kind of, normally fuzz is like the way it sounds is what you get. And you can shape it a little bit, but generally speaking, that's just what, what it is. Whereas with the fuzz bender, I think the idea here is that you can, you can get as many different fuzz tones as possible. Being able to go between that silicon sound and germanium sound with the bias knob means plus that 20 dB of headroom means you can really shape the tone of this fuzz really extensively. And that excites me because, of course, I do love a good fuzz, but I'm specific in my tastes. So hopefully the fuzz bender is gonna, gonna help me find those tastes that I like, as well as give me all sorts of other options tonally as well. So now if we take a quick look at the close-up cam, you can see this pedal, it's really clean looking actually, I like the way it looks, solid white pedal, uh, and then I like the orange font. Anyway, from left to right, we've got level, then we've got bass, the bias in the middle, then we've got treble and fuzz. So straight up, easy to use. You can power this with a nine volt or of course use a nine volt adapter, which is how I'm running it. I'm running it into the front of my Super Kraken from Victory Amps, and I'm gonna be using my Fender Esquire, well it's a Tele, um, and I'm also gonna be using the Lay Pole, this little lump, um, because I figured, you know, even though it's a modern sounding fuzz, Let's use some traditional guitars, because I guess most of you guys may have things like Telly or a Les Paul, so I figured that was good. Any reverb and delay you will be hearing is coming from the Strymon Volante in the loop. We're recording this into the Two Notes Torpedo Studio, capturing it with the Universal Audio Apollo X8P interface. Let's see what it sounds like. Alrighty, got the guitar. It's worth saying that, as some of you probably know by now, when I blend fuzzes, I don't always like to do that into a clean channel, especially something with this kind of headroom. I figured that it would probably be easy to regulate into a gain stage with a natural compression, so it's not going to be like way intense. But also, I like to blend things like crunches, overdrives, and distortions in with the tone of the amplifier because at the end of the day, that's what you're using. Um, and I think it's important to do that. So, in any case, this is the sound of the guitar straight in. And as I said, a bit of mild crunch and this drum and volante for reverb. Back to the bridge. So the way I've got this set up, everything's at 12 o'clock and the bias knob is over to the left, which means it's kind of a normal bias. And as we turn it all the way to the right, that's where we get a glitchy kind of spluttery attack, as it says in the instruction manual. But basically the way I look at that is you go from the left is your kind of germanium smoother kind of state uh, sound. And as you turn it to the right, that's where you get into silicon. Because generally speaking, silicon is more, lends itself more to that kind of Velcro fuzz, gated fuzz kind of thing. So um, anyway, let's have a listen. Um, straight in. Here we go.
It's an aggressive fuzz, as it is. Um, bearing in mind, this EQ is active. So watch what happens when we take out, uh, I guess at halfway, you'd kind of assume that was like 10 dB. So let's just see what happens. Let's take out the bass. Actually, before I do that, let's mess with the bias knob. Before we touch anything, I want you to hear the difference as you turn that bias knob up. So... So almost got that kind of Octavia thing going on. So as you can hear, it is a spluttery attack. It's very Velcro vibes going on there. Anyway, that's really cool. I'm going to put the bias halfway. As you know, I'm going to take it back over to a normal bias so that we can mess around with the EQ because it's 20 dB of EQ and that really will make a big difference. So we'll start with the bass. It's great. It's worth pointing out that I'm giving you extremes here, but the idea is that you can there's a big big scope for what you can dial in for the type of fuzz you're after. Awesome. Right, let's do treble. So at this point, it's probably important for me to say that, uh, you know, demoing something like this when it becomes about a tweaking situation, you end up, you know, you could spend hours tweaking it and I don't want it, this video to be hours long, but at the same time, it is just kind of about 
going through all the different combinations of how much bass, how much treble, how much of that bias do you want in? And of course, we haven't even touched the reverb, uh, the fuzz and the volume. So um, I'm going to do that next. I'm going to take the bias back to normal, boost a little bit of trebs. And I'm going to boost the fuzz. Sounds wicked. Uh, the pick attack on that is really quite interesting because there's so much push, so much punch to it from all that fuzz that you really, really feel the rhythm of it. So I, I've really en enjoyed that. So what next? Bias back to normal. Let's take off that bass. It's quite a little bass. And I'm going to turn up, actually, I'm going to turn the fuzz down. I'm going to boost the level. sounded immense that was less gain uh, less fuzz should i say i boosted the level and the bias was in the normal sort of mode the normal sort of position but i've boosted the low end and a bit of treble that really did sound sick um what i might try is just blending a bit more of that fuzz <laughs> So far, you can get all sorts of tones out of this. It's exactly like they said. Um, having the bias knob on top as well and being able to move between those, like the three transistor thing, meaning you've got silicon and germanium tones in there, for me is, is great because there are different applications for them. You, if, you, if you're a fan of fuzz and you use it a lot, you'd, you, you will find that germanium has a place and it's not in the same place as a silicon sort of fuzz circuit. So it's really important to, to, to recognize that. Something like the fuzz bender, having that, on tap, literally, you can just tur turn it. Well, it's not on a tap, it's on a, on a knob. But you get what, what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'm gonna change over to something with humbuckers, because of course, single coils uh, aren't gonna push this nearly as much, so let's give it a go. Okay, got the Les Paul. Again, this is gonna push more now. There's more gain you'll hear. All right. 
Right, let's go in from where we left off. Yeah, man, sounds great. I had to stop myself because I realised that was quite a lot of playing for one little setting, but it just sounds, it's, I'm just into it, you know? Really, really great. we go there is a look at the Keeley Fuzzbender now my first impressions having never heard that uh, pedal until filming this video was how versatile it is um, those of you who know your fuzz pedals will know that to get a fuzz to do that many different fuzz tones in it is an impressive feat having 20 dB of low end and high end to play with can really help you dial in some really unique fuzz tones and having a humbucker and a single chord guitar to demonstrate that really allowed me to kind of discover that for myself whilst doing the demo. And as you might have been able to tell, I just started getting into that mode where I'm writing riffs and doing cool stuff. And yeah, that, that's a winner for me in terms of a pedal because at the end of the day, it's all about getting that inspiration to write music and it does that. And I'm a big fan of fuzz as it is. So when you get a pedal like this that can kind of 
helped me dial in the, the nice germanium sounds that I like and then those really intense ripping kind of velcro spluttery kind of sounds coming up with different styles of riffs really really cool so yeah that's the Keeley fuzz bender uh, well done Keeley uh, thank you for sending this pedal to me to demo for you guys uh, I'd like to know what you think if you are a fuzz connoisseur as I'd like to think I'm somewhat of a fuzz fan then let me know what you think in the comments section below as always I'll put links in the description box to the fuzz bender it's available all over the place as you'd expect with most Keeley pro uh, products and yeah hope you enjoyed this video like subscribe and share and I'll see you all very soon